Hi guys, in this tutorial I will show you how to make a building destruction effect very easy and quick in After Effects. Let's begin with renaming our clip to original and then simply duplicate it. Rename duplicated one to clean and then make sure to toggle off original clip. Select clean layer and now we have to remove the building from the video. But before we need to mask the building, to mask I will use Mocha AE for better results. In Mocha select a pen tool and mask the building something like this, mask shouldn't be perfect. Once you are done, enable perspective and then click on tracking button. Once the tracking is done, click on save and then close Mocha AE. Open mat now and click on create AE masks. Now press M on your keyboard and make sure to change mask mode to subtract. Go to content aware fill now and click on create reference frame. This will open a Photoshop for us. In Photoshop select a remove tool and remove that transparent spot in your image. Make sure everything is clean and looks realistic. Once you are satisfied with the results, press Ctrl plus S on your keyboard to save the image and then close Photoshop. Under the Content Aware Fill tab, change Fill Method to Surface and make sure to tick Lightning Correction and change it to Moderate. Now click on Generate Fill Layer and wait until After Effects is analyzing and fully removes the building from our video. Once it's done, let's check the video if everything looks smooth and clean. Once you are satisfied with the results as me, make sure to duplicate your original clip and then move it above fill and reference frame layers and then rename it to building. Toggle on building layer now and we have to mask and isolate the building from a background. To mask, I will use a roto brush tool this time. Double click on your building layer with a roto brush tool and then rotoscope the building as smooth as possible. Once you are done, click on freeze button. As the freezing is finished, go back to composition. Press P on your keyboard now and if you change the position you will see that the building is isolated and we can create a cool animation of a building destruction. Click on position stopwatch icon and then scroll forward a bit and then move position all the way down. Press R on your keyboard and click on rotation stopwatch icon. Move the rotation keyframe to the beginning of the layer and then rotate the building a bit. Let's check it. I agree with you, it looks like $H1T. If you understood what I meant, then I have a great news and gift for you, DM me on Instagram that word, $H1T, and I will send you my plugins for free. Note, sometimes message button doesn't work on Instagram and I don't know why, in case if you can't DM, comment on my any of posts that word and get my plugins for free. And now let's continue with our effect and make it look better. First of all press U on your keyboard to open all created keyframes and then select all of them and press F9 on your keyboard to easy ease them. Then go to graph editor, right click here and select, edit speed graph. Make a smooth curve, you can copy mine or play around until you will be satisfied with it. Once you are happy with the curve, enable motion blur on building layer. Now let's make the building falling behind the trees. Make sure to select fill, reference frame, and clean layers, then pre-compose them, name it to clean and make sure move all attributes and adjust composition duration is selected and then hit OK. Duplicate clean layer and move it above building layer, then rename it to foreground. Scroll to very beginning now and then grab a roto brush tool and double click on foreground layer. Rotoscope the foreground only like in this video. In my case I will need to smooth the edges of the trees as well. If you have no tree in your video, skip that part to the next step. First of all make sure all trees are perfectly rotoscoped and then select refine edge tool. Now simply hold and draw your trees like this. Once you are done, we will need to change some settings, under refine edge mat change smooth and feather to 5. Now hit on freeze button. As the freezing is done, go back to composition. If you scroll your video you will see that the building fall right behind the trees now, but we should smooth the edges more now. First let's change chatter reduction to more detailed or smoother slower. Note, if you have a slow PC, option smoother will take longer to load previews. You can also leave it as default if it's too laggy for you and simply add an effect, key cleaner. Check reduce chatter and then increase alpha contrast until edges are fixed. Then let's add feather under the roto brush and once you are satisfied with it, let's check the effect. Destruction effect is done, but for a better and cool visuals let's add a shake effect. I will skip shakes part because I have made too much shake tutorials, also I have made 16 unique shake presets that you can get from the link in description, check how it looks like with my shake presets. That's way better. Hope this video was helpful. Thanks for watching and like the video please.